Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys have had a fantastic day. We are here and we are talking about the new Madden Mobile 21 uh, reveal and sneak peeks that we have been given by EA this morning. I'm going to go through them, break it down, talk about my feedback, give what I think uh, is, you know, positive, negative light towards what is going to be coming uh, August 6th in Madden Mobile 21. So I'm super excited. We have our first screenshot here. Um, and for those of you that are interested in... Uh, when these videos are going to be coming out, check out my last video, um, and it kind of talks about the the overall uh, release and the reveal of the Madden Mobile 21 app, and then uh, every single Monday I will be doing one of these videos, kind of giving you a sneak dive into a bigger aspect of the game, giving you some more actual info uh, and feedback from a veteran player like myself. So, let's get into it. The first screenshot we see when we log in here um, from the stream was a core loop. So, they're basically talking about how, what's the process of how we play Madden Mobile. So, when you play you collect, you craft, and then you trade, you upgrade, and then you recycle. Um, so, you know, you upgrade the player, and then you decide to either sell that player in a recycle format, you get rid of it somehow, and then you start again, you play. One of the interesting things that they pointed out on this core loop is that the number three step to craft and trade is they actually highlighted the trade aspect, and they said that trade is going to be coming to Madden Mobile 21. Now, do we think that is going to be trade between just ourselves, trading between different currencies? Is that trading between users like you and I? What they're basically saying is that the auction house is going to have some sort of trade capability. So the auction house in Madden Mobile 21 is going to be revamped. It's going to be new. And when you go into the auction house, there'll be an option for you to take currency collectibles, cards and trade them in for something else and I don't know if that's like you know a direct line to like your best friend I'm gonna trade you you know a bunch of coins if you trade me this player and then you know it's very straightforward like that it sounds more like you're gonna be trading with some sort of automated system or some sort of like trade set but trading is gonna be coming to Madden Mobile 21 in some form again this is all work in progress so that's interesting um, so that was kind of the biggest update from this picture right here let's jump to image number two this is the map this is the Madden today map so obviously we're gonna be going with a very blue ish looking kind of like glow you know uh bowling alley kind of glow in the dark blue light theme for Madden Mobile 21 Madden Mobile 21 um and here's some interesting things that are going to be on the uh, on you know that I noticed from Madden today first off we have kind of the same the same header that we're used to. We have our logo. Uh, we have level. Uh, we have stamina is back. So 300 out of 300 stamina there. You have the store and the home. And then interesting uh, icons here. We have the Scheme Academy, which looks like it's probably going to be uh, something for you to be able to uh, go through. Choose your scheme. You know, kind of do a couple of different events. The Position Electric Company at the bottom. Uh, then there's also the Team History Museum at the top. So it looks like they kind of moved Team History... Uh, maybe some of the other stuff onto the Madden Today map so you can open it up within here. Um, so that it kind of, you know, organizes things a little bit better. There's an experience event. Um, that star inside of the circle is the coin emblem. So that is a, a, a coin live event, whether that's going to be like a quick sell live event or something like that. And then the TP is training points, which means training points are also back. So that's a, these are all huge things to, to, to be revealed. Also, Madden today's scout is down there in Florida in the bottom of the screen. So that is kind of the look here. They decided to go into uh, depth about the position co live events so as you can see here when you click this it opens up three different live events different o-line running back and linebacker blitz events so you, you basically it says blitz this event to get positional position emblems components and more the first win rewards uh bonus position emblem so Straight off the bat, we see that stamina is back. We see that the autoplay is back, which is awesome. So we automatically get autoplay events right at the beginning of Madden Mobile, which is huge. It's not going to be coming later or coming in uh, late to the game. So we instantly will get that auto feature once you play it and win for the first time. So you're going to win 12, 25 coins. And then the 35 of those the kind of like diamond things, that's actually called gridiron dust. So you're going to get 35 gridiron dust for 
completing the blitz O-line, running back or linebacker. So you want to get positional emblems because positional emblems will then be used uh, to get different badges uh, to then go into different player sets. So like normal, you're going to play a live event in order to get some sort of badge or some sort of emblem, then it goes into normal set. So here's kind of the way it looks. The artwork is kind of interesting. Um, let's jump into the next slide here. This is what it looks like when you win the event, right? When you complete it. Uh, congratulations, you get your plus 35 experience. Uh, you get your 1225 coins. That's the coin logo. The gridiron dust is there as well. Then it looks like you're also going to get some sort of you're going to get the O-line emblem itself. So not only will you get the gridiron dust, but also the positional emblem once you win and complete the event. So, so far, I mean, there's a couple things that I want to talk about already. There's a lot going on. I think the trading aspect that they mentioned up front is cool with the auction house. I think that it's cool to see that coins are back. And they were talking about coins uh, that are going to be used to get various different items, items in the game. And that like sort of like quick sells uh, and a lot of coin making opportunities are going to be available at the beginning of the game. As you can see with the live events uh, and the updated coin artwork. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, it looks like there's still going to be some sort of complex nature to building stuff like Madden Mobile's used to. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, the reason my guides, you guys enjoy them so much is because there's a lot, there's so much the freak going on in these games that you're like, I really need to get like a breakdown of like what I spend my time on. And it looks like with the gridiron dust, with the emblems, there's going to be a lot of different kind of currencies again that's going to have, uh, lead towards some interesting um, interesting changes. So let's jump into image number five here. And we're going to see this is the set. So they revealed one of the sets. And this is a set to get the Madden Mint coin, I believe. Um, and basically what they decided to do is they said, hey, here is some collectibles that you can use to then turn in to get, like I think it's a large quick sell or it might be some sort of uh, mint uh, set something I got something in my eye. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on with my with my eye. Um, the 03, 14, 15, and 98 mint coin are here. Uh, they decided to. Uh, do the specific years of 2003, 14, uh, 15, and 98 based off of significant uh, coin toss flips uh, in in the NFL. Uh, so I'm not sure if these are like Super Bowl coin tosses or whatever. But you need to get four of these collectibles to then reveal some sort of quick sell coin mint opportunity. And then one thing that's interesting too is look at the outline of the card. It looks pretty freaking similar to the card art that we currently have in the shape. So I would assume if the collectibles look like that, then we are potentially going to see card art remain somewhat the same or at least in style. Again, this is all work in progress, but that would be a pretty good conclusion to draw from considering that we have... Um, this kind of like look at a collectible in a set. So there's that. Let's jump to the last picture. And that is going to be uh, this picture right here. And this is going to be the requirements uh, and the reward for uh, a QB badge. So in order to get a QB badge, you have to have uh, X amount of, you know, requirements. So behind my head is the coin emblem, the gold coin emblem. And it says you need 250 coins to get uh to, to get one fourth of the way through the QDB badge, you need uh, 50 gridiron dust, you need one QB emblem, and you need one of the blank badges. Now, let's read what it says. The blank badges are used in sets to craft collectible items. Earn more by playing blank component, blank component, that's a, that's a mouthful, blank component blitz events in Madden today. So, there's a live event for blank component badges, and they're used to craft collectible items. So you will be getting blank badges, and you'll be using them uh, as a requirement for QB badges, which then I believe he said the QB badges will then go into like Team of the Week sets or Hero sets or a Tom Brady set um, to then get the player. So to get the badge, you have to ha kind of have X, Y, and Z. And then I'm hoping that it's pretty... Freaking straightforward. If you're already gonna make us, you know, get gridiron dust coins, emblems, and blank and blank badges to get this freaking QB badge, I'm a, I'm hoping that 
you know, the QB badge in order to get Tom Brady, it's just like, you need five QB badges and that's it. Like, I hope it's not like you need a QB badge and then you need more gridiron dust and then 12 emblems to get Tom Brady because then it's just counterintuitive because you're like, I spent all this to make the freaking badge. Now I'm going to use the same stuff that I used to make the badges in the set for Tom Brady. So hopefully they can work this out. There's a lot of different requirements here, which is making me feel overwhelmed. But again, you know, this is all the sneak peek that we're getting so far. So that is the release. That's a sneak peek what we got so far. Um, and next Monday, I'll come back to you with a new reveal. Uh, I think we talk about Master Series next week. But yeah, so far, what are your thoughts? Comment down. What are your, what are your feedback? We got potential trading opportunities in the auction house. We got uh, a reveal of the map. We got, uh, you know, a reveal of what, you know, some of the sets look like here. We have some sort of coin making opportunity with the uh, live event. We have the Madden Today homepage revealed. We have the core loop. We have trading um, and all that good stuff. And my face cam is gone. There it is. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I'll catch you in the next video. Love you guys so much. Uh, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Comment, subscribe. I, I really would appreciate reading your comment. Uh, and I'll respond to you if I can. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.